Once upon a time, Thiago Alcantara to Man United was a summer long saga. Back when David Moyes was manager, back when somebody signed his ball from the under 21's European final with CU in Manchester, and everybody got excited. We ended up signing Fellaini. He ended up going to Bayern Munich. That was painful. The wounds are still there. But Thiago to United rumours are back again with his contract expiring at Bayern Munich next season. Now, Liverpool are considered heavy favourites to sign him, but United's name has well and truly been thrown into the mix. So what is the situation? I'm going to run through all of it for you, where the United links have come from and what the latest is. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Make sure you share this if you're watching this on Facebook. But let's talk about everything to do with Thiago to United. But before I do, I want to thank Odds Checker for sponsoring the 2020 slash 21 season countdown on United People's TV. There's only 17 days to go until the season kicks off. And if you like a punt, Odds Checker is your one stop betting hub and the only betting app you'll need for this upcoming season. You used to be able to check out odds on Odds Checker. Now you can put bets down as well. Look at it like a Deliveroo for betting. Like if you think Thiago is going to be joining the United, that's three to one over on Odds Checker, which is great odds, I think, if you do feel he will join United. So make sure you click the link in the description, download the Odds Checker app, and you can place bets with all the leading bookies. But of course, remember, you have to be 18 or over to download the app, and you have to gamble responsibly. But let's really take a look at these Thiago transfer rumours and what is going on. So Thiago, arguably man of the match in the Champions League final where Bayern won, he's likely to leave this summer. He's already said his goodbyes and Liverpool are considered the favourites to sign him. But nothing's really been going on. It's been stagnating that transfer situation. It's expected that Wijnaldum's going to leave and Thiago comes in. And with that delay, United's name has well and truly been thrown into the mix. Now United's links, if you look at Christian Falk over the head of sport at Build, he's been leading with the Thiago story given his links to Bayern Munich. Now, Christian said that United would link with him back as early as July. And then if you fast forward until the end of August, because during July and August, it's all been about Liverpool and Thiago. Now, United's name at the end of August getting thrown back into the mix by Christian when he said that United were interested. And the real developments, I suppose, came on the 1st of September when Christian said this. He said that United are yet to make an offer for Thiago, but he said that United have contacted Thiago's agent. And at this point, I think a lot of you will be fairly asking, right, is this one of those situations where United's name is just getting thrown into the mix? We're not really interested, but because Liverpool are delaying, United's name is being used as a negotiating tactic. That would be a fair assumption, I think, because we've seen it so many times before with United. Gabriel, for example, to Arsenal. We were never interested in him. He just got thrown into the mix. And if you take ESPN's take on this, they sort of agree with you. Have a look at this. They're saying that United's attention towards Thiago is understood to be nothing more than interested bystanders, with Solskjaer having priorities elsewhere. And them saying there that we may be being used to push Liverpool into action. Now, my personal gut tells me that's exactly what's going on with Thiago. But if you look over in Spain, front page of sport today, they're saying that Wijnaldum and Barcelona, they're in negotiations for him right now. If that happens, Thiago might push ahead further towards Liverpool far quicker. And United will never really make any sort of move for Thiago. But regardless of any links with Thiago and United and Liverpool and anything, there's only one question I think we should all be asking. Does Thiago want to play for Manchester United? That is the key question here. Donny van der Beek came off the phone to Solskjaer, wanted to join United. Maguire, Bruno Fernandes, Dan James, Aaron Wan-Bissaka... All of them wanted to play for Manchester United. And if Thiago really wants to play for Liverpool, but that move might not happen and then he joins United, he wouldn't be joining United for the same reasons. And there is a fear of mine there that it could turn out to be Alexis Sanchez part two, where we swoop in to sign a player who is world class. Don't get that twisted. Thiago is a sensational midfielder, 29. Yes, he may be towards the end of his career, but he's still got a few years left in him and can offer a lot to pretty much any team he joins with the experience that he has. But United have been moving towards signing younger players who are up and coming, 
not up and coming, but have their careers ahead of them and that really want to play for the club. And it's made such a difference to the culture. There is a, a fear of mine that Thiago wouldn't fall into that category, would fall into the category of a big name signing, opportunity signing because we can, big wages, not signed for the right reasons. So I think that we should be hesitant with any deal for Thiago, even if he is available because of that. And if you look at his injury record as well, it is substantial up there with Phil Jones. And odds are, if he joins United, he'll just be on the injury table 90% of the time. But Thiago, he is a world-class player. He would improve United's team. If we brought him in with Van der Beek and we didn't play Pereira or we sold him, if we didn't play Mata or we sold him, the same goes for Lingard. Hell yes, that is a huge upgrade. And I was excited by the idea of it. Look, I said Thiago and Donny van der Beek for the same price as Jack Grealish. Jesus, why wouldn't we do it? Because on paper, it makes all, it ticks all the boxes. But there has to be questions about whether or not Thiago actually wants to play for United. That should be the crucial point. If he does, then I, why not? Why not go for him and replace and invigorate that squad even more so? But if he doesn't and he actually wants to join Liverpool and he's only going to join United because we're offering decent wages and Liverpool won't offer it, it's the wrong reasons to sign him. And it could end up being a Sanchez part two. But enough of my opinion. I want to know what yours is. So make sure you leave it in the comments. Thiago to United. Should United be interested in him? Should we be hesitant about whether or not he wants to play for United? Or should we just ignore it all? Focus on Van der Beek. Focus on Upper Mancano or however you pronounce his name, I keep getting it wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm doing it wrong. Pretty sure I am. Uh, Sancho and other transfers. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, make sure you click the link in the description. Download the Odds Checker app, your one-stop betting hub. Make sure you're over 18 if you do download it and gamble responsibly. But Thiago to United, let me know what you think about everything to do with that in the comments below. Until next time, take it easy.